Hello and welcome to MGP 370. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, this sheepdog, Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Oi. Hello. Hello there. We have a serious problem. I've just noticed my microphone is ever so slightly lower than usual. and I'm having to stoop to talk into it. I don't, I don't panic. like it. No, don't worry. I've adjusted it. If the, if the listener was just hearing a... <laughs> that was me adjusting the height of my microphone right at the start of the podcast. Despite the fact we've had an hour just sat here talking. And nobody said, Kev, you sound a little a little quiet, a little distant. Is everything okay? No one I cares. just thought you were just feeling distant. You were just, you know, far away from us. I didn't mentally. know until I got into my intro position. And as I was doing the intro, I was thinking, that's too far away. This is this is all wrong. That's about an inch further away than it normally is. I'm recording on Pab's old microphone, and I'm able to tell that Pab's either got a very low table or he's slightly taller than me. I don't think he's taller than me. What do you mean? I, this week I had to slant it down slightly because I realised it was basically pointing at my forehead all last week. So if it <laughs> sounded like you were listening to me talk from a couple of feet above me, uh, a couple of inches above me, you know how Kev hears me talk now. Um, whereas this week you're getting how what Anna hears because it's about half a foot below me maybe not that far i'm gonna say if it's that far away can you please adjust <laughs> it again <laughs> i thought I'll i thought me right. being an inch away was a little bit wrong if it's six <laughs> inches away goodness me that's why we're it's hearing background noise you shouldn't be hearing background noise now the amount of bloody time i spent removing background noise earlier you're a good boy ain't you see she my wife she really listening. cares she's watching telly on like three wearing or headphones four in the other room. <laughs> I went in there and you could barely hear it. Buy the, buy the poor girl some wireless headphones. She doesn't need volume at all. I never really thought about that. Yep. We've got Bluetooth uh, enabled telly. She could do that, couldn't she? She could do that. Ah, oh, this time next week. <laughs> it's going to be millionaires. great. Ooh, I, do, I do like the idea of being a millionaire. Excellent I even stuff. removed the ticking clock from behind my head because I never realised that that was there until... Well, I never really thought about it until just now and... If anyone's been listening to ticking every week for the if past If the three, ticking was coming episodes. through, Anna would have nipped that in the bud years ago because the moment she moved into this house, she threw away all my clocks <laughs> because she couldn't stand the ticking noise. So if the, any of that was being picked up by your mic, it would she'd have come around there and smashed it with a hammer. I can't stand clicking. It, oh, it just annoys me because it never ends. It never stops. It's... That's the point of a clock. <laughs> oh, I only own that God. clock because... When my poor nan died, they said you can take whatever you want from her house, <laughs> and I what, you without took the thinking. Most annoying thing. yeah, why don't you well, take I the said telly? I'll I'll take this clock to remind me of her, and my uncle said, "What? Well, because you just spent all your visits looking at it." <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, wow. really, he was really insulted <laughs> that I wanted the clock. <laughs> so now it just reminds me of the shame of thinking, "Yeah, that's probably it." Um, but yeah, it reminds me of my nan, but it's in the other room now. Because it was ticking too loudly for me to concentrate on this beloved podcast. Excellent. Um, have we all managed to avoid picking up any contagious diseases over the last week or so? It seems to be all that Twitter talks I about. I don't have one. I hope so. Excellent. Good work, everybody. It has been. I've been trying really hard to not get worried to about spread this. Spread fear and scaremonger. <laughs> That's what you've been trying to do. From what I've been seeing. Well, no. So the amount of people on your Twitter, because you follow a lot of football Twitter, which is probably one of the worst types of Twitter that there is. I'm pretty sure um, politics Twitter is far worse than football Twitter. Oh God, yeah. P- politics Twitter is is the cesspit, but football Twitter is like dangling over it. It's the poop dropping into it. Um, but they're all just going, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. The flu kills more people. It's like, no, that's not how it works, you moron. Understand maths and percentages before you start telling people not to worry. But um, Excuse me, Matt Letizia was very clear on Twitter today that we shouldn't worry. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my <laughs> God. Um, but at work, every company we work with is like, yeah, so our staff are going home. Um, yeah, they're not going to be in the office because we're worried. We've had we've had three cases in our office suspected. There will be like it's been left, right, and centre. Every big corporation we work with has had one or two people have to go home and be swabbed while they've sent everybody home. Out of well, TwitchCon Europe's been cancelled, hasn't it? Because of it, and that's not uh, taking place until early May. We had mm. two guests in, and the first this woman came in, sat down in a boardroom, and went. <coughs> 
and I just I nearly launched my cup of coffee at her. I was just so annoyed that she didn't even cover her mouth. She just coughed. Into I the thought room. I was going to get beaten the hell out of in the gym this morning because I was I was just walking across. And I just coughed into my hand slightly, and it was as I walked past a guy who was sparring, and he just the look he gave me, all set up with his boxing gloves and everything. I was like, "You're going to kill me, aren't you?" What but were you the, thinking? Just looks. Everyone stared at me. I've had to clear my throat. So wait, why this are you in the, in the changing room? <laughs> Jesus Christ, That's not to prepare his voice in the changing rooms. <laughs> yeah. He's not leaping out onto a stage. I was, well, no, I was then... listening to some very catchy music. I needed to be able to sing along, so I had to clear <gasps> my voice. My lecturer walked in and has got the sniffles. I pulled my table back as far as I possibly could. I'm not <laughs> I'm breathing that man's air. Jesus. I tried to make everybody feel better by point like reading through the. Uh, it only affects you if you've got you know heart problems, lung problems, um, and like lit- lung problems was the third thing I said. And then that the person literally sitting next to me was like, "I have I can't remember what it's called, some horrible lung problem that means if they get it, they're just gone, and it's not good." And so that's made us all again feel quite worried about it because it's it's going to get a lot of people and not affect them that badly but yeah it's it's definitely going to affect her quite dramatically if she gets it she had pneumonia twice in the past like three years so yeah she's a little bit worried so again i have been a little bit on alert this week but it's just it, it's probably ground me when people are like oh, i don't understand what a percentage is yeah, but then you're the opposite end of the problem because you're one of the scumbags who's taking all the stuff out of Tesco. <laughs> so when I go there just to get normal stuff, everything's gone because everyone's stockpiling. If I everyone stopped stockpiling, Tesco, we wouldn't need right? to stockpile. I went into Tesco and on my way in, on the radio, they were banging on about people stockpiling. And my sister said, have we bought anything? I was like, no. And she works in infection control and was like, I got a few extra tins of beans. So I texted my wife and said, what shall I get? And she said, just beans, spaghetti, rice, you know, pasta. Why, though? What, what? Uh, yeah, but no, normal stuff we eat anyway. She was just like, just get it. And then, like, and we've got other it. people can't go sh- buy it, so it causes a shortage. Excellent. Yeah, because we, we needed to get some shopping. We needed to do shopping tomorrow, so I just did it the other day. But in her list, she was like, get chickpeas. And I thought, what? So I got them. When I got home, she texted her colleagues who went, Rich just went panic buying and bought chickpeas. And all her friends <laughs> laughed at me. <laughs> so I bought it okay. because you told if, me to. If she's setting you up to be laughed at, then I probably am on board with this after all. <laughs> she was just like, Rich has gone pandemic buying. But then told me today that they've all done it since she told them I did it, which was quite Do funny. Do you people not have stuff at home anyway? I mean, I... I I could be boarded into this house for a month and I don't think we're going to run out of food. There'd be some nasty stuff at the back of the cupboards that's been there years, but I'm pretty sure we could you survive You say for that, a Kevin, month. but there's nothing here. We've got a bunch of herbs that are all the same because you but keep But we've buying. got loads of tins of things. No, we don't. We do. That cupboard do. above we... the oven is full from, of, I mean, of, it's three things high of, herbs, of tins. Kevin. No, you herbs. understand I live next to a Tesco's, so <laughs> I go in there at least once a day. I've been in there twice this evening, um, only because I forgot to buy ice. But um, the, ice, the bloke you served... buy ice? Well, not normally. We have refreezable plastic things, but I don't like using them in gin. So I said, I'm buying some ice. Um, but the bloke who served me when I went in to buy beers and gin saw me buying ice and he just gave me this look of... Uh, you're back a bit quick. Stop bailing the ice, I see, sheepdog. <laughs> That's it. Um, but it is funny. You can walk around that shop and every single shelf is full except the shelf that had the hand sanitizer on it um, because people have just gone nuts. Yeah, people I are buying more of it than they could possibly need. And I didn't they, buy any they, of that. They don't sit, there was a, Anna showed me a video on TikTok of, um, the, of a woman who'd bought like 30 bottles of the stuff. And I, I don't understand the thought process because if you buy all the hand sanitizer in Tesco, all that means is everyone else who lives near you can no longer sanitize their hands, so you're more likely to get ill. I'm pretty sure I bought a bottle of hand hand sanitizer about two years ago for Comic-Con, and it's just been in my flashback. Yeah, I've got a bottle on my desk that I've had here for years. I've got another in my camera bag. I have this stuff. I use it when I need to use it. 
I'm not going to run out. Yeah, this is it. I so no, I'm not mental. I didn't buy that. Um, I just bought Says some pasta. Mr. Chickpea. <laughs> I bought some um, smash or whatever it's called because I thought oh, mashed potato that'd be handy. It's like forty p for a box of it. Um, my daughter what looked do you at me eat, like I was smash? an idiot. No, not that was actually one I just thought that would be handy just go in the back of the cupboard and just never get eaten. But if I was desperate, I could eat some mashed potato. I could have a mug <laughs> full of it. mash. Something wrong so, with you. That was about the most absurd thing I've You were everything and... that's wrong with the world at the moment. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I ended up with a lot of tins of stuff. I spent 20 quid and I probably got about a month's worth of food. <laughs> Why do you need a month's worth of food in one go? <laughs> that means that food's not there for someone else now. We tried to do our shopping order on Tesco earlier in the week. Yeah, but you and weren't I buying like get a slot because everyone's panic buying. You weren't buying fourteen p noodles and nine p tomato tins. No, because I'm not a lunatic. Mm. I already have all that stuff. <laughs> well, I just thought I'll get that. We'll eat it anyway. It'll be fine. But um, no, I, don't, I just don't want to have to nip round there. If I if I get told, because we've been told to bring our laptops home from work, we might be working from home next week. If I get told I get to work from home next week, I don't want to have to leave the house. I want to just sit in it all week. It'd be brilliant. This will be the first time in my life I've got a genuine excuse to not have to do anything other than sit on a laptop and tap out a few emails and try and close some That was literally stuff. your life when you were a student. Just sit at home, never leaving and... I had to laptop. go to uni and stuff, and you drove me. You went the to uni to twenty-four to times a year. Yeah, but you kept trying to show me what was good in Leeds and stuff like that. We did that once, and we established the All You Can Eat Chinese and the Spice Girls Museum, which it was is always there an All You Can Eat restaurant. Every that. county had its own All You Can Eat restaurant, yeah. and that was always the best. We love eating. What can I say? <laughs> uh... So now we've solved the coronavirus. Um, which now means Pab can put it in the title for that sweet SEO. Money. Oh, I can! Oh, goody! Yeah, we we want we want search results, Pab. We we've got all this was Pab hashtag Corona. Yeah, we've got used to all of this advertising revenue now. We want more. Oh, no, we're going COVID-19. after the big bucks. I, apparently, I clickbait all my videos, so I'm going to start clickbaiting the podcast. Add in Super Tuesday, get that American. Uh... Yeah, because Su- Tuesday this week was super. So what now we talk about have? it. I don't eat soup, Pab. I leave it in the back of my cupboard in case I have to self-isolate. <laughs> have we? Has anyone played any video games while all this has been I've going on? I've got a brand new Hot Off The Press game to review that I got a review code for. One of them. Um, it's One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. I'm well excited that I got to get this as a review because I didn't think... They, they, they'd basically not responded to my emails for months and then I realised... It's probably because I was doing it from a personal email, not the podcast email. And the moment I emailed them from the podcast email, they went, Hi, Sheepdog. Yeah, here you go. Bye. And uh, yeah, that is really cool. It's a uh, a fighting game, but it's like a RPG fighting game. So what I mean by that is there's a city you run around and you do fights as the game part, but you can level up your character and build teams and so forth. It's based on One Punch Man, the anime slash manga. Um, I don't think any of you have seen it, have you? I know I've talked about it in the past. I'm aware of it. I know about it. I'm yeah. not interested in it. I love it. I, it's probably, um, one of, it's definitely one of my favourite things at the moment. Um, I've been re- I read the manga from start to finish. It's not finished yet. Like, I'm up to speed on it. it so you've read into the week. future. <laughs> um, it's basically, in short, about a hero who, he's basically a guy who decided he wanted to become a hero for fun. And he trained, become strong, went up against monsters, but found that every single time he hit them, they just died straight away. So he's a bit bored and disillusioned and fed up with life because it's just it's just not it's not fun. He's trying to make it fun, but it's like, oh great, this massive monster's destroying the city. I'll go and attack it. He just punches it once and it's dead. So obviously making a game out of that sounds quite complicated because it wouldn't be very challenging to just constantly kill everything in one hit. But in the anime, he discovers that there's a a hero association where there's different classes of hero. There's class C, B, A and S. And the class S hero is like the best of the best. Um, They fight the really, really high level things. I think they have like threats. It's it's like tiger, demon, dragon and god. So the higher the threat, the higher that god's the highest 
threat level. Um, the the, the S class heroes get called out to them, but like the Tiger and below are like petty thieves and stuff like that. So the different tiers of hero are called to fight things. He probably um, shouldn't be killing petty thieves with his one punch. Well, no, so he's not. So he he him and his friend, who's this like cyborg, um, enter. They go do the tests for the hero association. He absolutely smashes all of the physical tests because he can jump really high, he can punch really well and all of this, but he fails all of the aptitude tests because he's just this sort of average man who's a bit, I don't know, he's, he's just laid back. He doesn't care. He doesn't take things seriously enough. So he gets put in at class C um, and he's just ignored because he's an irrelevant hero that nobody cares about, whereas his partner, who's a cyborg, gets put in as class S because he's super strong, he's super clever, he's super quick and everything. So the cyborg, who's this class S hero, absolutely worships him because he's seen him kill things in one punch. He thinks he's this amazing hero who's got this amazing ability, but no one else in the world takes him seriously. Um, he's given the hero name Caped Baldy, um, and no one, te- you know, no one thinks he's a mm. threat at all. Um, every time he saves the day, they believe somebody else did it. It's like he'll kill the villain and then just walks off but somebody else happens to be nearby and they get all the adoration and support and they get promoted and he just doesn't either care or take the credit kind of thing but um, it's just entertaining it's funny it's very cool um the game is based on that but obviously they can't have you play as him because he would just win every battle in one punch um so you play as a new hero that you kind of develop um you can level them up and take on a different so there's different types of heroes some of them are just like normal people some of them are brutes that are like really strong some of them are like psychic ability some have weapons some have like robotics um there's all the all these different groups in the anime like the tank top heroes who they're just big guys who wear tank tops and that is literally their gimmick they're just muscly and walk around in tank tops and they all have different names like uh t- tank t- tank top tiger or something like that um there's like these psychics that fight there's I'm trying to think what else, but um, yeah. So you in the game, you're meeting them around the city that you're you're helping in. You help them out with things, build your social rapport with them. Um, the idea is that when you're fighting monsters, you can either fight them yourself and win, or while you're fighting, if it's quite a challenging fight, it's got a little uh, TV screen in the corner, and it's a hero running to help you. One of the gimmicks in the um, cartoon is that part of the reason that One Punch Man isn't just always saving the day is he he has to get there on foot he doesn't drive he can't get no one gives him a lift so if a if a monster's taking over the city on the other side of the city he has to just get there on foot so everyone else is fighting it while he's just jogging and they're trying to hold it at bay and do what they can to defeat it when he turns up he just punches it and leaves so when you're fighting other either him or the other heroes in the game are on their way to help you. They could be biking there or whatever. And you've got the little countdown saying they're going to be there in 20 seconds. And you've got to try and stay alive against this really hard boss for 20 seconds. And then your hero turns up and you can tap out and then you fight as that hero. So it's been kind of class C, B or A so far that I've had come and step in. But at a certain point in the story, you hit a particularly difficult boss that's basically impossible. You've just got to stay alive for 25 seconds and then Saitama, his one-punch man, walks in. You literally start the fight. You press any button and he just smashes him and KOs him instantly. So that's quite entertaining. Um, I made a little list of things. You said the missions aren't all just like, oh, go do this fight. For this, this little, you, know, you have to deliver packages or um, I had to help one villain, uh, one hero, sorry, act out a story for a load of kids just to kind of build his reputation uh, the more fights your character does you build up your social credit if you've got a higher social credit you can start doing missions for the hero association which then raises your hero score so i'm just on the cusp of becoming a class b, class b hero um the higher class you are the better jobs you get to do um any heroes that saitama kills for you you get to do special battles against them later on so once you level up you can start actually being able to kill them separately but as the story goes on you kind of yeah you, you just you, you're basically meeting villains from the show and the manga um it's really cool i like it it's basically done like how the south park games perfectly make south park and you wander around it mm-hmm. this is perfectly rendered the uh, like I can't remember what they call it, like dis- they call it like district A, B, C, and that like, they're all just kind of laid out as, as lettered districts in the in the in the show. But you can go to the Hero Association building, you can go to the shops near One Punch Man's house. You kind of on similar street to him, and it's it's very you know, it's the same art style, it's the same 
city all the characters look as cool and uh, you know as well drawn as they are in the manga and uh, yeah it's just awesome i'd recommend people watch the anime first if they want to buy it because you just love it if you're into that kind of thing. But this is this is just a perfect, um, I forget the right word, like just a, a perfect version. They've captured it perfectly. It is it is the same. You yeah. know, you're just yeah, your yeah. own character in it. You're basically it's, it's basically giving you the opportunity to create a character in that universe and follow the exact same format of the show. Um, the show's just awesome. It's a great story. Um, it, it's very clever because it it's almost like they're saying try and make a story out of the hero always winning with one hit. And it's like, well, that shouldn't be interesting, but it is interesting because they make such a, he's got such a great personality to match his power. He's got such a great set of people around him. Um, there's, I think season two is coming up on Netflix soon and then it, it's following the comic and in the comic, there's loads of hilarious things they throw in about characters that seemed really mysterious and cool earlier on and stuff like that. So yeah, it's very clever. It's well worth following. Um, I would say get the game if you're into fighting games, even because it's a different format. It's the, the fighting's a bit like you know your 3D tech, and you can go in. You know, it's like a big circle arena that you can kind of dodge sideways. You know, like newer fighting games. In the old ones, it was very 2D, and these ones, it is you can dodge and move round and run and things like that. And there's special moves you can do and combos and so forth. But being able to just run around the city and do errands and stuff as well between fights is great. I, I really rate it. I think it's awesome, and I will keep playing it like to completion. It's it's been what I've been on all, all week when I've not been playing Two Point Hospital to death because I'm also hooked on that and stayed up far too late a couple of nights this week playing that. But um, yeah, this, this has been great. I can't play this in front of the kids. It's not gory or anything, but it's it's got a higher age rating, so I can't play in front of the kids. So in front of the kids, I've just been playing Two Point Hospital. And then realizing that I have to, they keep asking me why that man's just fallen on the floor and why is there a ghost coming out of him? And <laughs> I'm like, oh God, <laughs> didn't think that through at all. Um, but yeah, both of those games are awesome. And I, I, yeah, One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, go and get it. It was great. Splendid. You've convinced me to try the manga. I'm looking at, at on Amazon now to try and find the cheapest way to get into it. I'll tell you what the cheapest way to get into it is. I have an app called Shonen Jump. It costs me two. It's free for seven days. It costs me two pound a month. It has every single One Punch Man manga, and it has all of Death Note, which I've read. I know you've read that already, but I read that from start to finish the other week. Um, and it has Naruto and a lot of other things. But One Punch Man, it's like 180 mangas on there. They're not that long, so don't let that sound like a mental amount. Um, I think it's 180, but um, I love it. There's so many good characters in it. Um, there's you know. As it goes on, there's a guy who calls himself the hero hunter who hunts heroes and tries to kill them. There's a monster association, of different ranked monsters. It's it's just good. I'm really impressed. It's just it's different enough that I feel like when I'm reading it, it's yeah, it's new. It's it's fun. It's interesting. Uh, it's the highlight of my week at the moment when a new manga comes out on Shonen Jump um, because yeah, I, I love it. I'm really into it. So yes, read I it, shall watch investigate. it, investigate. Um, video games then for anybody else any more for any more I have um, guess what I've played I've played uh, Football Manager and I've played Total Extreme Wrestling and that has been my week I'm up to I'm up to 2010 now in my Total Extreme Wrestling save that started in 2003 so I've got it, it, the database that I've got is very splendid because it automatically generates the wrestlers who started wrestling after 2003 so I've just developed a system where because I know what names I'm looking for. My scouting policy is very simple. Just every three months, have a look to see who's new, who's in their rookie year, and just sign them all. I've got like 300. Every wrestler you've heard of, and plenty you probably haven't heard of, are all signed to my version of WWE in this game. And it's uh, it's Did you amused. choose to start that early, or is it just yeah, I just game? I just downloaded a mod. So I downloaded a mod for it. You can, there's su- such an active modding community for it that you can pretty much pick any era in history and download a mod. So I downloaded a mod for 2003, so I thought that's quite an interesting time. WCW's just died. The invasion's just been a flop. WWE are working out what they're going to do next. And plus, it's just early enough for all of the current stars to be just about starting to get into wrestling. So you get them as like 16-year-olds and have to decide what to do with them. 
and it's will um, they it's automatically be as good like if you're picking up a not young... necessarily um right. so i know you're a wrestling expert so you'll know all these names i'm about to reference yep. but brian danielson <laughs> daniel Bryan. um i signed him as a 16 year old and um he's rubbish <laughs> seven years in i can't get a performance out of him he is just turd to the point where I think I'm going to release him just so he goes and wrestles somewhere else and I might be able to bring him back. But in real life, he's like the best wrestler in the world by yeah, miles. I know. I, I'm telling the listener, Sheepdog. I know you okay. know. You're a big, sure. you're a big Brian Danielson fan. I am aware. Um, but yeah, it's uh, and Devon Dudley is my like five time world champion because they used he, to call me that back in the day. They did because you look just like him. And they, and they, uh, yeah, he just developed into far better than he ever got to in real life. But other than that, it's, uh, just it's cut just down his prime. He was. It's because he had to go to TNA. You hated it when he went to TNA, didn't you? Everyone hates tits and ass. It's, it's, it's what it stands for, is it? Total non stop action. Goodness me. How dare you? Tired yeah. of my uh, sex tape. Um, can we talk about? Can someone other than Sheep go talk for this? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyone? Tom, Tom, Tom anyone who's not a Sheep Dog? Massive Sorry, wrestling I'm fan. I am completely stunned by that. That's yeah. completely. Anna, are you me. still there? Yeah, I'm just listening to you. Too. I paused mid sentence because I wasn't sure how um, what our age rating aim for this is these days. Um, I know it's no <laughs> swearing, but I think I think you're allowed to quote Brooklyn Nine Nine, which is all you were doing there, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah. it? That's all you were doing. It was just a quote from a TV show. Those words don't mean anything. <laughs> Certainly not out there on the internet somewhere. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Pab, please talk for a long time. <laughs> oh, okay, you're right. <laughs> Here we go, then. Kev's trying to clear his browser. His <laughs> all right. Okay. So. What have I been playing? I've been playing more Red Dead 2. I've been playing it. If only we could watch you. If only you could watch me, Sheepdog. Uh, you can. On my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv forward slash pab1986, where I do regularly play Red Dead 2. Um, not regularly enough. No, not when near as much as I probably should, but I can't do it forever. I can't do it at all constantly. It's not like if it's if it was my full time job, then maybe I could, but right now I can't. So uh, yeah, um, Red Dead. Then it is. I'm getting more and more into it, and it's. I'm getting less and less annoyed by the, the things I was, frustrated with, when I first got the game and stopped playing it because of the frustrations. Um. I'm having. I feel like I'm having fewer moments of confused, like what the hell just happened, sort of thing. And I don't know if that's just because I'm I'm not playing the game the way it wants me to. That's the other thing. I'm enjoying it more because I'm not playing the way it wants me to. Because the game is very much a game of go and explore, do what you want, and I'm just going mission, 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 just not even paying attention to if something. If I'm on the way to a mission or if I'm going somewhere. And then something happens in front of me, then I will go and investigate it. But I'm not just going out there just enjoying the world like a, like you probably should do. But I'm yeah, I'm trying to I'm struggling to to go. Oh, that, I'm not going out there enjoying the game the way they made it. Okay, um, I don't know what, I get it is. what you're saying. I though. feel like the, I feel like the game itself. It, the, the, it's the momentum good, I guess. The, yeah, the cool. whole the whole the thing that's keeping me in that game is the story stuff so for me to then to wander off and go and play blackjack and rob a stagecoach randomly just or do do like a, a competition with some guy or go you know play cards or anything like that just random encounters that happen I was like oh, do I have to I'd rather, I'd, the story is the is what is there for me and that's all I want to do all I want to do is find just listen and see that story and yeah, they're not all. I'm not just like. I, I'm clear. I'm definitely not mainlining it, but all I'm doing is just missions and missions and missions. And it's been fun. It's been fun. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm learning all the characters' names now. I'm doing all the different. Like, you know, like, there's not a loyalty quest and what. They, they do all the different. People keep turning up to do different things, like um, 
Mike has turning up more. Bill's doing more. Got more quests, but I hate them too. I hate. Yeah. I hate Mike. Mike. Every time I, since I got him out of jail, it has just been a non-stop. Every mission ends up in a brawl or a shootout. Or Can't like, you just execute him? No, I, I, well, yeah, I don't know. All these games were like super. I don't know. Fluid, so you could just. I don't think you can yeah, because a lot down. of them end up in the first one, don't they? So you can't get rid of them in the prequel. Because technically they're in, they're around in the second in the in the Red Dead One, aren't they? So they, you can't do that. So I know full well that Bill is going to be Bill's in the first one. Spoilers, but it's, it's really early on in the first one. Um, so you ain't going to get be able to get rid of Bill that easily. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. I'm 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 I'm, I'm in Rhodes now. Rhodes. The place isn't cool. it? I was thinking, is that what it says? That that sounds right, isn't it? Yeah, it is roads, and I'm not allowed to use weapons there because I'm in good standing. I've become that much in good standing. I'm the deputy sheriff of roads. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want you to do that. That is like I'm like <laughs> what? And and every time I go into roads, it pops up saying, "Don't use any weapons in roads. You're in good standing around here, and all that sort of thing." That I was like, well, surely okay. if you're the deputy sheriff, you can start abusing your power. No, because well. You, it's, it's Maybe kill the sheriff. The sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Why are you not just going to kill the sheriff? I don't know. I mean, I'd, 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 I'd go and kill the sheriff. Do I it don't now. think you can. I'm not, I'm, of course I'm you not. can. Have you tried shooting him in the face? I'm, not, the I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. See, that's the, the, one of them pointless side quest things that gets me distracted from the story, which is what kill I want to do. Kill the sheriff, Pab. Kill the but sheriff. I'm sure I'm certain that will not end. I don't think you can draw a weapon in Rhodes. That's the other thing. I don't think you can even do it. Slap him to death. I don't think, actually, I don't necessarily think there's any way of doing it, which is a shame. But Ride your horse into him. Poison him. Ride your horse into him. I could, I could do that. Set fire to the room. Fork yeah. him in the eye. Call him out to a cliff edge and then nudge him over it. Bore him to death. Yeah, I could do that one quite easily. You need um, me and Sheepdog involved in these streams, I think. Well, yeah. you know where they are. You should stop on by. It's where not... are they, Pab? You didn't say it clearly enough. Twitch.tv forward slash Pab1986. Not only do you know I know where they are, but you also know that sometimes I'll just randomly start gifting random people you subscriptions. Did. Well, I yes. bought Anna's subscriptions. I'm a kind <laughs> man. Yes. And that, and that stream was Wednesday, and I was playing a game called The Coin Game. And I mentioned yeah, that it last rubbish. week. What are, what are you thinking? It's bizarre. That was it's that was it's awful. fun. That was a bad game, Pab. It, I, I, I was watching what. that. I was watching that, thinking, "What is he doing? And why?" Are you Boo. kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this Twitch streamer sucks. It, uh, so th- that stream was probably the the biggest stream I've actually done. I had like about twelve to fifteen people in there at one point. Just and it was <laughs> just because I kept rounding up people and saying, "Just come and someone explain it, to it me was what bizarre. you're doing." It was like it was bizarre in there on when I was playing that the other day. It was popping off in there. It's like I just couldn't pay attention to the game because there was just constant chat going, and I was like, "I don't know." But you were I'm just wandering around an arcade playing arcade yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm. Wh- this is where you explain that there's more to it than that, Pab. No, it's a, it's a it's a it's a arcade playing game. I don't know what you want what you want from it. What do you what do you? <laughs> I don't know, make it a video game somehow rather than just. A... It is. It is. It's it's a fun game to be playing. It's 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 very you much were playing a, a two P machine. Yeah, because I, I need to get I need to get the, the all the ca- all the cards. I need to collect all the cards to then get a. To so, get a, a to get... I mean, in real life, I know Anna likes these because she gets to collect oh, her tickets to get herself a physical prize because it's mm-hmm. nice. You would just. I mean, there's no physical. It, it's it's just a, you're watching. It's like watching a video of someone play a coin dozer. Uh, you're you know literally just clicking a button to put. I, I can't I tell you what, they any... are popular videos. Why? There is a certain audience for these things. And like I say, I don't know who the chap was. I can't remember his name now. Oh, There was a chap in there who was telling me all the all the pro strats on what games to play and which ones do do more stuff. And I was like, okay. And then and he was right. The game where you've got to stop, you've got to stop the light on the on this particular spot. The... Do you reckon he's one of these people, that, one of these legends who wander around real world arcades? I imagine people do do that, don't they? Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever had this? I've, I've had the I've... guys skulking around in Hunstanton waiting <laughs> for you, waiting to win a fiver out of the two. I know. I'm not talking about them. 
I'm talking about you'll be at a machine and you're pressing the button and someone just wanders up next to you and goes, no, 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 no. Yeah. And they go, beep, yeah. boop, beep, boop, 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 And then suddenly 25 quid pops yeah, out. Yeah, and he wants half of it. it. No, he doesn't. He, he just goes, there you go, oh, mate. I, no, he do, no, 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 no. I've seen I, I, some that For me, some. it's always just been, no, yeah, there you go. And yeah. I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I carry on playing. Maybe they want money. I never offer yeah, it. Yeah, they <laughs> Yeah, I've had it happen to me so many times that I don't really understand what con they're trying to pull unless they just want half the money. I don't. I, don't, I just yeah. Yeah, they did. I, yeah, yeah. Every time I've seen that, there's always like, go on and give us a fiver then. Electronic yeah. Um. <laughs> just go nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's... Maybe he's one of them, and he just uh, wanted to help you on the game. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, that is a, a nifty little game, and it's the thing that I enjoy, enjoy is the fact that. There's so many of these arcade games that are pretty much exact replicas of in of in the actual arcade. They're not. They're not at the point. Uh, well, yes, but they're not like I just. I, there's a nostalgic feel to them, and I was like, "This is cool." And I'm I'm trying to get a hoverboard. I'm ch- I'm pushing to for do a hoverboard. What with it, Pab? I don't because know because it's something you can get. Can, can you ride the ho- hoverboard around the arcade? I don't know. I'll, I've, I'll I've email you a I picture never of a hoverboard if you I've want I've never one. seen it. I've never got the hoverboard. I don't know. Um, but even by the end of the stream, I would. I was a quarter of the way there. Um, well, I'm like nowhere you near. To stream too early. <laughs> That's exactly right. No, we do some more of it. I don't know. We'll see. I just did it the other day because I would fancy doing something a bit different. It was a bit easier just to play and not too story heavy because I feel. When I'm yeah, playing, when I'm playing, two story. Well, I, story I, I know. Well, he's I was trying I, to get a hoverboard. It There's seems story. contradictory to me saying that all I want to do with Red Dead is play the story, um, but a lot of the time I'm just like, I can't follow it. Sometimes if I'm reading chat and I'm doing whatever, and I, I have to go, wait a minute, what did he just say? And I have to kind of piece oh, yeah, it together. You can't play that with stream on. Like no, it's 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 hard, but I've, it's 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 also forcing me to play it as well. So um, it works both ways with that one um what else have i played on stream tonight i before stream pre that diablo clone you were playing when i was watching you earlier that wasn't diablo clone that was hades it um, like a diablo clone no it's a, it's, a rogue, it's a roguelike game and um it is i've talked about it before it's in early access and they update it constantly they constantly update it with new characters and new gods and all sorts of things and you you go through the world. It's it's like the camera uh, thing is sort of like uh, Diablo. I'd get, I'll give you that. Um, but it is very much um, an action game. I use the controller for it, and it's you go. You are basically trying to break out of the underworld, and every so often you have to you have to go through a number of like rooms, and you get to a boss, and you complete that boss, you move up to the next level, and you go on and so on and so forth. And there's like four levels at the minute until you reach the top, and you have to beat. Uh, Hades himself. I wanted this to be the plot of season five of Prison Break, but they bottled it. Yeah. Yeah. They killed the main character in season four, and I thought, here Spoiler we go. They're bringing, it back. Whoa, <laughs> they're bringing whoa, 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 whoa. it back. They're bringing it back for a fifth season. I wonder if he's trying to escape hell. And then <laughs> they just had him trying to escape some prison in the Middle East because he'd faked his death. Nonsense. Absolute mm. waste of an opportunity. I thought it would have been amazing. They could have had all the people who died in seasons one, two, and three return and just had an absolute left field mental season of a story, but they bottled it. Sheepdog should be writing these programs. (laughs) Start the petition. Okay. Okay. We'll have to. I thought I asked you to speak for a long time, Pat. You let him speak again. What have you done there? Nonsense. I, I can't. What do you want me to do? Um, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, if only. Um, anyway, the um, the I tell you what I did do early, earlier in the week. Um, Anna's talk of in fact it was last, but on the last podcast we recorded, Anna was talking of Torchlight Two, and it made me go and buy Torchlight Two on the Switch. <laughs> I mean, monster. Yep, yeah, I. I, I don't know if you probably didn't notice it, but I literally, I never was talking about it. I got up and went to the, to get the Switch, and I, I went, it's still on sale, I'm going buying it. It's the reason we didn't notice it, Pab. We weren't in the room with you. Yeah. I will be in June. Um, but yeah, Torchlight <laughs> 2 is, is very good. It's it's the... It's, I don't know if it's, it's got all that stuff. I don't remember it having so much Torchlight stuff in it. One? 
it is sequel to Torchlight One, and, um, but it, I feel like I've, when I first played it, I played it when it first came out years ago. It's, it's old now, is that Torchlight Two, and it's good. Yeah, it's at least five years old. Out. Probably at least five years old now, but it's older than that. Probably it's is. Probably. Yeah. I think I was playing this before Anna existed. No, no, so... no. We both bought this together. Did we? Yeah, I can remember sitting at the table playing it. Yeah, I'll it's, allow it then. It seemed it's, it's very much a, a Diablo like game. The only issue I'm having with it is um, I kind of wish I was playing with a mouse and keyboard sometimes. I, I don't think it necessarily you can has play the same. It on PC, though. It can, it can do, yeah, and I probably could do, but I just fancied playing it on the Switch because I know how good the Diablo is. Keyboard. Diablo is I'll, on Switch. I want to play on PC, but with a tiny screen. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> the other thing. It's the tiny screen isn't great. Um, but it's been, it's been okay for what it is. And like I say, Diablo plays perfectly on the Switch. Is and the the console version is arguably better on the than the than the PC version. I just like the the dodge abilities and stuff like that. It isn't on really on the Switch uh, PC. Um, but yeah, I will continue to tinker with Torchlight because Torchlight is just a but nice you game. You can just, that though, can't you can just you? drop in, drop out, and just play a few levels. And I find myself just you just lose yourself in them games so easily. You can just lose hours to them games, just kind of hours, wandering yeah. through the world. Just you just kind of go in and go in and go in. And you're like, oh, yeah, I lost two hours to that. And all I've been doing is just going through, just looting stuff. Just yeah. yeah, I lost a few afternoons to that. Yeah, it's it's a great game. That is, uh... and it, like I say, it was like twelve quid. I think which is, mm-hmm. isn't bad at all, really. I mean, even full price, I think it's like fifteen, sixteen quid. Um, the only other thing I've been playing and is my usual is um, Apex, which has um, so it's been it's been up. There's been a big update for Apex this week, and it's a moaning, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to be moaning in about <laughs> ten seconds. Um, it's it's something. I feel like it's the start of a new season again. And they've made all these changes, and I don't like the changes, and it's something I've got to get used to. But it's just, it is that exactly what it is. It's just something that you'll have to get used to and it'll become the, the norm for a while. So they're like, they've updated it where you now can only carry this thing, everything in st- in your stacks and you, you have like bullets or shield cells or syringes or what have you. They're all, they're all being cut down dramatic, dramatically. Um, so you can't have multiple grenades in the same slot anymore. You can't have, you only can have four syringes or shield cells as opposed to six. You can only have 40 bullets per stack instead of 60. So you've ultimately got less gear, um, which is effectively just making you fight, you you fight more and have to just bring, you know, get more aggressive to kill people and take their loot from them. So. Pap, this is one of these uh, free to play subscription is. things, isn't it? So surely you can just. Pay the thirty pounds to get your full size. No, it doesn't. No, no, section it, open again. No, because pay it doesn't work like that. It's not. There's no pay to win because all you're doing is paying for the battle pass. All you pay is for battle pass, and you buy the battle pass, um, and you you just level it up, and you level it up by playing playing the game and playing well and doing the challenges. Um, the other the other thing you can do is buy skins, and they are once again doing that extortionate thing where to get. All this, there's a new event, the Deja Vu event, and it is Deja Vu because they are charging me about 180 quid to get all the gear again, which I won't be doing this time. I'm not doing it again. I did it once and I'm not doing it again. I just don't see the yeah, point. He'll have done it by this no, time. No, no, I really am not because I don't, I don't like, I don't like all the skins. So you, this, this time compared to last times, you can buy individual items set, set, you know, alone. So I will probably buy maybe one, maybe two of the items instead of the. You have to buy like the entire thing last time to get them all, and it was just like it wasn't for me. Um, Next week you'll be saying it was only a little bit more to buy them all. No, it wasn't there because it, it really isn't. It's, it's, just, it's a fraction of the price to buy single items. Um, uh, the actual event itself, I don't, I can't say whether I like it or not because the Deja Vu event it change it like it resets daily. Every single item in the game is like items in like so. The circle itself that you have in the battle royale game is a game is in the same place every single game. All items are in the same location on the map, so effectively you could learn where to go and find the best gear every time. Um, and it it works to your advantage sometimes if you can find if you know where the good stuff is. 
And y- so it's done that really annoying thing that online shooters do by rewarding the nerds who play it too much and removing uh, and just the really randomness. ramping up the barrier to entry. So if I decided, I think I'll give this Apex a try that Pab talks about all the time. Yeah. I'd go on there, just die instantly every time I loaded it up and then stop. Well, seems yeah, like but, a I mean, weird decision to make. That, that's just the event. It's, the regular order is still there, but we've been trying to just trying to play the event to see what it's like and what have you. And it has worked to our advantage in certain aspects, like I say, because when the first night we played it, we we won three games that night because we figured out where the circle was. Once we knew where the circle was, every time we figured out a way to pretty much just kind of kind of get find the best position to be in at the end circle and just kind of wait there until everyone started turning up and we just started picking them off. But it's it's, You're always trying to figure all stuff out. Well, it's, it's, it's the only way you can. Perfect. It's the only way I can play them because I'm I've, mm. I'm not very good at the get the shooting bit, um, but I do enjoy it. But yeah, I will continue to play that. I think it's on for two weeks, so I'll continue to tinker it. But I've, like I say, the help the update thing is what's been getting to me. And I, like I say, it's just something I've got to get used to because I imagine it ain't gonna unless it, it like dramatically sees dramatic drop offs. They aren't gonna change it realistically until the end of the season there, and they'll do a review of the season and see where it goes from there. Hopefully, it's still, it's for the better. But who knows? It, it, the, the the only thing it has stopped is stop people spamming grenades because you used to be able to stack grenades at two at a time, and then if you had a big backpack. You could then do like you could potentially have like six or eight grenades, and you just and if you had a full team of people that had six or eight grenades, you just get spammed with grenades. You could you didn't stand a chance. You didn't stand a chance. But uh, anyway, that is. It's you You're saying about seasons and people getting good at games and ruining it for everybody else has just reminded me of the the thing that's been the bane of my existence for the past two weeks. Um, so I mentioned before they added battling to Pokemon Go, uh-huh. so you can battle against other players in a in a league format. <clears throat> they brought out the Great League, which was the lowest level Pokemon that you could fight with, and I was really good at that. So I ma- managed to go from rank zero to rank eight, and then when they brought out the Middle League. I started in rank 8 and just got dominated because everyone was really good at it and I wasn't. And the same thing happened with Master League. And now they've opened it out to all three leagues and I can't win for Toffee with this now. I had gone from having something like 50 wins out of 60 battles. So I've just looked at it. I won 95 wins out of 200 battles now. And I am terrible at it. Um, I've been trying to get up to the next rank because I think if I get to like 3,000 points to level up and I've just been going between 2700 and 2800 for the past month because I'll win like five and then just get destroyed for like 10 and yeah I'm really annoyed because all the nerdy people rank eight and above are better than me and I can't beat them but I can't down rank to go back to beating people again um, and I don't know how to get good it's it's very frustrating but apparently it resets next week um, into a proper season one this is all pre-season so I get to I get the joys of coasting through eight leagues or eight levels, whatever it is, before I hit my cap again and can't do it until they reset. But that's been really fun, uh, except for when I lose, which is quite a lot at the moment. But um, yeah, I'd recommend people who have decent Pokemon in it to have a crack at that because, yeah, it's good if you're geeky. Splendid. Anna, what have you been playing this week? What have I been playing? Um... So I played some Division, and then Religion. I bought Division, Division, and then I bought the DLC of the Division, and I was going to go in with the with my character that I have been using, that I've been leveling up, but I need to be level 30, and I was not. So I started another character that had an instant level 30 to go into New York. But, um... I, so I bought obviously I bought DLC so I can go into the DLC whenever I want with whoever I want it was just at the time I wanted to have a go because I bought it and I had work later so you've got you get new new like uh, special uh, add-ons so like in the um, in the first the the main game you get like a drone and a, a sweeper mine and a shield so in this one you can get like a sticky bomb um these electrical plates that they stand on so like they get shocked and a few other things that i I want one of them is where you can um put a thing down and it's a hologram of you 
So they shoot okay. that instead of you, and then you can get in what it like behind them and flank them and stuff. So that's all fun and games. Um, yeah. So I've just been playing that. I have found one bug. There's a uh, a cash thing that you. It's like you get it and it upgrades the like camps and that for the life of me i've spent at least two hours and i cannot get to it i don't know how it's it's up in it's up on a building and i've been and i can't find a way to get up the, to this building i can't find like a like a ledge to get on i just i have no idea where it is and it's bugging me and i think it's i don't think they've thought about how you get up there because i've been up and down every like street side street trying to find how to get up and i just can't so i think that's a little bit i think they need to go look at that at some point i might send them a an email saying i've i've been everywhere i've done this for two hours i cannot find a way up which is frustrating because you can see there's a path up there like there's a path on top of the building mm -hmm. but to get to it there's no way to get up because it normally you would like find like um ladders or something just so you could get up and then you'd obviously go and tram transverse the uh the roof but you, you can't get up there i've tried everything and I'm, it's just annoying so i can't complete that area to 100 percent. i like to i like to like be in one area complete that area so that area is secure and then move on to the next i have moved on to the brooklyn bridge but that area is annoying me because I just don't know how to get to it. And it's just like this big glaring orange icon on my map that I can't get to. And it's all sad. Mm. Um, there's no snow. I thought there would be some snow because the first division was in New York. This is set in New York. But again, it's still the summer because basically you get called from Washington to go there. And I guess their seasons match up. I'm not sure how what the the geography is of, of new york and washington but it's still summer and it's got storms i wish there was snow because i enjoyed it when it was in snow um i can't tell that i'm in new york um i i've not i don't really know the the geography of, of any of it but it, it looks the same as dc if i'm honest like maybe there's landmarks but i, I don't know what they are I just wanted to play the game <laughs> and I thought it, it just looked bad. So I've been doing that and then because of, of Sheepdog I ended up buying uh, Mass Effect the um, Andromeda. You on sent the... this to me on Twitter. This was because of Pab. Was it Pab? It was, it was one yeah. of you two. You were like, Sheepdog, why are you playing Andromeda? And I was thinking, I am not. <laughs> oh, but... I thought what I knew one of you were. I was tired last week. But, um, I was just like, I've played this, but I can't find. I, well, we had a we got sent a copy, and I don't know where it is because Kevin has hid it. Um, <laughs> yes, that right. You are me. such a monster, Chapman. I haven't deliberately hidden it, but it was somewhere in the garage before I tidied, so it it's not visible anymore. I don't know where you it your, is. Hide the Mass Effect game you're obsessed with playing. <laughs> It's not his fault. Like it, it was in the garage. He cleaned up, so I, I can't really be mad at him. Sounds like his fault to me. <laughs> but yeah, he did have it. He's lost it. I don't know where it is. So I bought it for like five pound uh, on Xbox. They have they've got a um, uh, what's it called a sale going on. Mm -hmm. So it was like a fiver. So I paid not the bad. fiver. I downloaded it. And again, I've all, I've played ten hours of this game when it was on EA Access, um, but I started again, of course I did because I don't like to have games that I start again and not at the start. So <laughs> I started again. I've got a really because like you're a twin, you're twins, and I have a really ugly brother, and it's quite funny. He's like completely blonde, and he <laughs> just doesn't match up to anything because it's just weird. But um, yeah, there's still issues in it. There's like, there's this really weird quote by this woman. It's like, um, excuse my face. My face was hurting. I'm like, that that doesn't make sense. That's not that's not a sentence. But she says it. It's re it's really weird that that sentence. I just don't get it. But apparently, I was reading into. It, apparently, it was 
the animators they got so annoyed not the animators uh like the the people that were writing for it got so annoyed with the animators they just put some really dodgy text in there and i was like all right if, if that's what they want to do let them um it looks a bit better but again you can still see this there's just issues with the the people they just still look a bit disney like their eyes are massive. yeah yeah i can see that <laughs> they've got big black ears and a pointy nose and <laughs> white no, they, they just got they're just disney characters it's very strange to look at because you're like why are they like this because like i've played all the other mass effects and they were great but this is just like a bit cartoony weird but yeah i play, I only played that for like one afternoon it was a fiver i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lose sleep over a fiver but i just i just wanted to go back to that because it i want because i only got like halfway through and i want to see how it how it pans out but i wish they would go back and and bring all the old people back or i don't know just just somehow try to bring Shepard back I know you can't but well I mean uh... in the end credit post credit thing it's like tell me another story about the Shepherd. and they're like not now go to bed <laughs> and they kind of implied that there were many more stories yeah there was it was a DLC oh well okay <laughs> that told you you idiot <laughs> Alright. Just yeah. thought maybe, you know, it might be that they had an ace up their sleeve. I mean, they can, they can, they sure they can always do that. They can do what they want, can't they, really? Yeah. I went back to Dreams for a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dreams. Oh, I had a kip. Yeah, so um, I went back. You can, so, like, Media Molecule, my, my la, them people, can't get my words out. You said it they exactly hit, right. The first time. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> it just perfect. Didn't sound right. My mouth just felt a little, little. Um, so they have made a level. Uh, they've made like a a section of their uh, the section of the store is them. Like not yes. not a store where you buy things, like a store where all the games are stored. So there's a section of them uh, there that they have made, and I, as you go in them, like there's this one about a jazz guy. That is like at least an hour to an hour and a half long. It is a long bit of thing, but they're trying to show you this is what we've done in the game. Everything is done in game. I'm like, okay, yeah, I understand that. It's excellent, very good, well done. Um, and that that's fun. But you can, uh, if you if you pause it, so if you want to come out of it, because I was playing it on a Friday night. I was like, I'm too, I'm too tired. I need to go to bed. You can just go back, which is a good thing. So you can pause. I think most games that you that you go playing, in, and then mm-hmm. you can go back to it when you want to. So I did that. I went back to that and finished that. It it's cool how that game that how that bit of game is set up because you're not just playing as the guy. You're playing as his favorite toy when he was growing up, and then later you're playing as um like a robot that he loves and and they're all like platform games or hack and slash bit of games or point and click and it's all in this one world which is really really cool i did like that that's a so it's just showing you what you can achieve in this game which is fun and then i just went around the store and was just playing bits and bobs so i played like a um what's that toad game toad treasure tracker oh captain toad yeah there, there was a whole I think it was like nine levels of this of of that, but it wasn't it wasn't Captain Tony. It was just like this little wombly thing. <laughs> I don't know okay. what it was, but it was really cute, and the cuteness got me. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cute! I want to go play it. So I did, and that was fun. So I played that, and it had enemies in it, and I was just going around playing these weird little platforming games, and I had lots of fun. Andy was having a look, and I was like, don't you dare, because he loved. Uh, what was it called? Um, oh my god, what was the game they made? Little Big Planet. 
he oh, yeah, loved yeah, yeah. them games. He would s- sit there for hours listening to um, Stephen Fry. Hours upon hours of that man's voice going, Hello, you've come to the world of imagination just for hours. Um, but um, I think, I believe they are now going to change up how things are put onto their storefront. So and uh, what was happening was anything that someone has made in a game, you can, as long as you, I think it's as long as you like it, you can grab their content and then put it in your game, which okay. I'm all for, like, share content, but it was making their games come up top. So if it was just a bunch of assets, people would like it, but it was just it was just that it was people who were looking for their the assets for their game and it wasn't really fair. So they're they're changing the scoring system so you can find games and not just assets. Um there is abs- they have got a program in there where there is no so these games are normally full of um inappropriate shapes shall we yeah. shall we say so Kev's yes. been in there <laughs> there is none of that <laughs> they they've got a program in there that stops that happening instantly. I'd find a way around it <laughs> which I think is good because Life kids do play this game and I I used to hate that I'd go in and I'd see like and it was just like that's, it's so she, ne- she never went online it's just, <laughs> it's just all the levels I'd created Pen but, Island. Yeah, just, Pen just, Island is yeah. going to be my Animal Crossing island, definitely. <laughs> oh, you're so annoying. What? Yeah, but, but, yeah, I know all about your Pen Island. <laughs> 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 mm, not funny. Well, you often um, go to Pen Island. But I, I like the fact that they've got that they've thought about that that people can't put that in, and I just I love that because. Yes, people think it's funny, but it's funny for like a second, and then you're just like. It's been okay. funny for thirty-seven yeah. years to me. Yeah, yeah for boys 100%. though, but for me, it's just like, ugh, I don't really want to look at that constantly. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they've got that in, and I've not seen any swear words, so that's always good. Not looking but yeah, it, I think the th- the thing with this game is it will get better as it ages. Because there are some things that have got like loads of work in, but now, but there's other things that are barely bones or something. Like you put in Fallout, you, there is a Fallout level in there, and someone's put months into that because they had the um, they had what was it the pre, the beta or something. So they've made something in there and it looks mm-hmm. Fallout and it sounds Fallout. Then if you look for like I look for Skyrim and there's one there where you open your eyes and you're on the carriage. But it's bare, bare bones. Like, it, it's stick men, basically. <laughs> Which is fine. But, um, yeah, I think these these games take a while to put together. And, and obviously they do. But, yeah, the way it is and what what... It's like if you dream anything, you can make anything. So, I'm all for that. Go, go. I, like, I did... I wasn't into this... I wasn't, I wasn't ever, like one waiting for this game i just thought i've got i've got um a weekend without a child i like medium <laughs> all I'll, I'll play this but yeah people are just making games from their childhood into games in this and i think that's cool there's mario games there's sonic games there's anything you can think of really it's weird i'm guessing this is only on ps like all the other games yeah yes yeah, yeah. I know it kind of went without saying. I just wanted to check because I can't be able to bring my PlayStation downstairs and dust it off, really. But I think the kids would love this. Yeah, I think they would. Like you, you put it like Pokemon, and someone would have made Pokemon for some weird thing. Is that your way of trying to persuade Sheepdog? Sheepdog is Pokemon. Well, no, but it's just like. No, do you know what I'm thinking? Actually, you made me think. Well, actually, they probably have Captain Underpants and stuff like that. If you next time you're on it, just type that in. If he's on there, <laughs> or uh, Teen Titans, Teen Titans Go, I mean, um, then I may have to bring this downstairs and get Ollie on it, because a lot of the things he's really into that aren't just Pokemon, there aren't really games for him, and if there were, it'd blow his mind. So, yeah, if someone's made a Teen Titans Go level, or a... What the hell Captain is Captain Underpants? Underpants? 
It's like a, <laughs> it's like the the principal at these kids' school when they click their fingers, he turns into Captain Underpants, which is just their principal walking around in his underwear. That's and bizarre. It's a lot of poo jokes and stuff like that. It's Ooh, perfect I might watch it then. Seven year olds, but yeah, I like a poo joke. Now. Right, are we done? I've got a question before we go. Is it, is it isn't, a relevant? <laughs> it's relevant. Was I supposed to click record? Yeah. Oh, has, has nobody played the uh, Final Fantasy demo? I, I played it at EGX, yeah, I did. Thank goodness. I don't. I don't okay. like the battle system. You don't like it? No. You can um, is... set it up to be like old school, sort of. Oh, I hope so because I did yeah. not like that. I was just I. Because I got to like the big fight and I turned it off because I just didn't understand what I was supposed to do. I was just getting constantly beat down with the rockets and he was jumping on the wall. I was like, this is not what I remember. <laughs> this is not how I play this game. One and thing I'd got... like to know, if you can answer for me, mm-hmm. um, were you able to decide in the demo what materia you and Barrett have, like Cloud and Barrett have, or, and were you able to switch between them when you wanted? Because in the EGX I have no demo, idea. okay, in the EGX demo, um, I didn't. It was basically like use lightning, but then it would only let me use lightning if I was on Barrett and I couldn't switch between the two. And I couldn't tell whether it was just me being a plonker. Which no, I think probably, that's how it worked. Yeah, you could. Only... You can control him when it lets you. And I get, I guess that that's a tutorial sort of battle, and it makes sense, but. There were people behind me laughing at one point, and I thought maybe I just wasn't getting it. Yeah, um, I, it, they were just telling me constantly to to go to Barrett and use his lightning because he was the one that had lightning. So I did as it told me to do, but I I didn't like the battle system. Maybe the battle system is fine for people who are new to this game, but it is not what I remember. Everything else about it loved it. The the music, the just you the kept whole tweeting layout. us about the music. <laughs> that was really funny. It was just like the, like it, I did. I felt like I was like fourteen again when when I first played this game or whenever it was. It was just like oh my god, I remember this. It was just oh, I was like oh my gosh, it's so nice. But um, yeah, I don't, don't, don't <laughs> like. So yeah, that, what that I was, tra- was what I meant to say and I forgot. I trailed off. Was that um, a friend of mine said that they'd removed the classic battle mode and i had to google it because i didn't know what it was on about um but classic mode is where you set it so that when you're in the battle uh, yeah. cloud and barrett will run around and do all their dodging and jumping and whatever action you stuff but you don't control that you just have it count through the atb timer and then it just goes look it's your turn to attack you pick attack magic or something right, okay. or whatever. um so it's kind of like the old one except, except instead of them just standing there bobbing up and down breathing like they do in the old game <laughs> they're just jumping yeah. around the screen hiding and dodging and doing what you would be doing if you were controlling it i feel like that would probably be more fun for for people like us because we just aren't all about that action jumping around nonsense and i don't get why square enix think that that's what people want yeah it's not a, not something i was interested in i was like mm, i feel like they must no. just have one meathead in the office and it's probably like the director's son and the director's son's like this game it's going to have enough jumping around. Put some meathead <laughs> jumping around in it. Um, I also heard today that they haven't coded in uh, Red as a playable fighting character. You meet him at the same point in the story, but you can't. He doesn't join your team. You just. Um, That's weird. Yeah, it's like. They did what they said. Their justification was apparently that they don't want to have to put a tutorial in at the end of the game um, to mm-hmm. introduce a character that you're only going to play with. Because obviously, in the story, you meet him like on the second level from the top yeah. in the Shinra building. Then you go upstairs and fight the boss, and the game ends pretty much after that for this this round. Um, in in the main game, obviously, it goes on for another three discs, three and a half discs of games, or two and a half discs of games. Sorry, um, but. The way they've happened to end this, they've just had to say, "Look, you meet him, you save him. He's a he's an NPC, and then in the next game he'll be playable." Oh, okay, that that I guess that's fine. Um, yeah. But um, I was watching Money a True Nerd play this game because he went to an event, and there was the bits that he there was bits in his like flashbacks 
that was not in this game, or I didn't see them. Hmm. But because they like, so you go into it. What's her face is chatting about whoever. What was her name? I'm so tired. So, is it Jenny or Jen? Jennifer? Who's the girl that they're with when they start? Um, Wedge, Jesse, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. There we go. So she's talking about is it Tifa? Yeah. And then, and then, because so when I was watching this video, when she mentioned that Cloud had a flashback, and I was and but in this video I was watching, but in my, when I was playing it, there was no flashback. So I think they're slightly different. What the mm. like big people got? Or well, is it like a flashback to them sitting on that? Um, yeah. That fountain thing, the yeah, well thing. Yeah, it was in very Hawaii. weird. I didn't, I didn't understand what was going on there. But yeah, like it was fine. I want to play as as I would play. Do you know what they really need to do? To at least for me, they need to announce when they're bringing out part two. Because if this, if, if part two ain't coming out for eighteen months, that's really yeah. irritating. And part of me thinks I'd rather wait sixteen months. So that I, I play can it all together. Yeah, play it and then glide straight into part two. Um, a little bit of me is even tempted to just say, oh, I'll just wait till it's all out. Um, I've, you know, I've waited 20 years. I know the story. Some plonker <laughs> earlier went, someone said, oh, I played the demo last night. Oh, spoilers, don't tell me anything. I'm like, mate, this game has been out since I was 14. Like, <laughs> don't be an idiot. <clears throat> you know, you know what happens. He's like, I've completed it. And I was like, shut up then. Um, this is this is all lip service. It's going to be great. It's going to be enjoyable. It's just, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I want to though. play it in bits. No, because back then I can remember having. I think it was nine, and I had all the discs, but one of the discs was so scratched that it wouldn't work, and I had to, <laughs> I had to borrow the disc from my friend, and they were like, "Give yeah, up! I'm still on it," and I had to wait so long. <laughs> To get that yeah, bit. to be fair, I think I borrowed the first couple of friends, but uh, my my PlayStation Two broke halfway through playing Final Fantasy oh, Ten Two, and I had to go out and buy a new PlayStation. Um, <laughs> I was like Did literally you playing Did the your game, memory card still and it crashed, and I just went out. But I was like at an age where I had enough disposable income that I just got on the bus, <laughs> rode in. rather than paying for driving lessons and learning to drive, I got on a bus, rode into town. <laughs> Picked up a new PlayStation, got back on the bus, rode back home, took out my memory card and the disc, put them into the new PlayStation, yeah. just carried on gaming from my, my last save point. My first paycheck, I bought a, a PlayStation 2. I don't, I said, he's like, well, who I was just like, we need food. I was like, yeah, and I need a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was like 18, so I didn't eat then anyway. I just yeah, gamed. <laughs> Play- a PlayStation night. 2 and, and Final Fantasy 10, because I... It had just come out, but I didn't have a PlayStation. And I kept going past it in HMV, going, "Oh, it looks so good." I had to wait like six months, but I was like, the first time I got some money, I was like, "I'm buying one." And he's like, "Yeah, but we need food." I was like, "I don't care." I was that's, like, "I need one." That's that. That is my probably my favorite PlayStation out of all of them. Got to say, I think. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a fun time, but we've now got the the PlayStation Five to look forward to, which is. Gonna be fun. Can't wait. Right, you're done with your Final Fantasy talk. Thanks for oh, that, Pab. Shut 20 <laughs> minutes they it, talked about that the, for. It's the hottest thing this week, and they had to get it in there somewhere with Corona. Yeah, that sweet, sweet, uh, you know, SEO, Kev. Yeah. I think about that. My word. I forgot it came out, though. Like, because mm. I turned it off and got annoyed with it, because it wasn't <laughs> what I wanted to. Like, yeah, it was beautiful. Like everything else, apart from the the battle system, was great. So Twitter is a place that you can follow us at MGUK Podcast, or you can follow me at Lelujo. I'm at RB6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pub1986 on Twitter and Twitch. And Bebo. Bebo, who's got Bebo? Pub's got Bebo. He's Pub1986 on there as well, aren't you? No, I'm probably that on. Is it Bite? I've got Bite. The hell is Bite? I don't know. It's some new thing. Are I you got that in on early. Uh, Tinder, Pab? No. Grinder? No. 
do you have usernames on these sites? Obviously, I'm. I don't know. I imagine you're in the either. same boat, Sheepdog. We're so old, yeah, we've never no actually idea. used them, so I don't I've know never how they had work. to use an app. No, that's it. <laughs> so, do it's you fair. have a username? I don't. Someone explain to me how Tinder works. I don't. I know. Why? I know this swiping. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Why? Because I feel like this is. There. I feel like this is a a cultural thing that my age group know about, but I don't. Does it I feel. Like- I've got a mate who, like, he, he doesn't game anymore. He just plays Bumble. What's Bumble? He's a nightmare What's to Bumble? visit because he just spends all of his time on Bumble seeing who's local. What is Bumble? Explain Bumble to me. It's you. where the, the women message you first. It was a, a lady who worked at Tinder didn't like how misogynistic it was, so she made Bumble where you make your profile and the ladies message you if they're interested. And uh, he, he loves it. It's like he just enjoys how many... Because he's... he's He's a big bloke, massive beard, bald, and glasses, and just, yeah, he's never really been able to, I don't know, enjoy that kind of thing, and then suddenly he's discovered this app is just brilliant for him, but every time, we went out on a stag do, and he spent all weekend just on this app, so, yeah, anyone listening, there you go. There's a Sheepdog's Bumble affiliate link is down in the description. <laughs> So you know, I don't know how it girls. works. It's probably it's it's a really old app. Like most of, I imagine our listeners who who need that kind of thing are, are already well. Sheep, well like, we're a gaming podcast. All our listeners need this kind of thing. They're well clued up on it. But if you're not, oh, get on there. Pabs Pab nineteen eighty six on there. Look him up. <laughs> right. <laughs> For goodness sake, <laughs> get lost, everybody. See you next week, boys and girls. Have a good week. Bye. Thanks for listening, folks. Oh, 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 oh,